Hello, Rainy Day Writing Guild. Happy Wednesday. This is Jake. As you can see, we've put on an actual rainy day for you for a change. Um, anyway, this week we're talking about our favorite writers' writing habits. Uh, so, I chose Jim Butcher, author of the Dresden Files, and uh, a number of other things that I haven't gotten to read yet, but I will soon. Um, and also, Brian McClellan. As I mentioned in my very first video, uh, McClellan wrote a the Powder Mage series. And so he's, you know, relatively new in the big scheme of things as far as uh, authors go. And so uh, most of the content I was able to dig up on him reflected uh, what it's like to be freshly full-time. And so he talks a lot about how important it is to diversify income because when uh, the advances run out, how are you going to pay your bills while you're waiting to uh, pitch that next book series? Um, he had mentioned his habits, while not the type that uh, you need to be super productive um, was something like play video games for six weeks straight and then write like a maniac for 48 hours so like that sounds right up my alley that's something I would probably do because I have terrible time management um, and the other thing that he'd mentioned that being an author as a job. Um, he was upset at himself for not like buckling down and putting in, you know, eight hour work days. Uh, but he came to the realization finally that uh, you're, if you're a full-time writer, author, uh, you're always at work, whether you're putting pen to paper or not. Um, you could be going to the store, but you're thinking about a new character. You could be lying awake, suffering insomnia, but you're tying together all of your, your plot lines. Uh, so even though you're not actively writing, you're still working on your fiction piece. So that was good to know. That's a little, a little heartening <laughs> for myself. Um, Jim Butcher, though, he has written lots of articles and he's got a, you know, a couple of blogs and his own webpage and a, a couple of forums. So he's very prolific uh, in his own writing, but also in writing advice. Uh, so I didn't really find anything on his writing habits himself, uh, except that he's turning out books at a slower pace now um, and he's getting bogged down and he's getting older, and uh, and so he's, I don't know, not really making excuses, but kind of, about how tough it is to maintain that momentum that he had when he first started. And he was gung-ho, and he had a whole bunch of material saved up, but now he's built such a, a, a long lineage in his existing series that uh, it's a little more work intensive to get it all to to come to life again so uh, I'll go ahead and put links to both authors websites in the description uh, check them out see what you think otherwise um, joy I think that uh, we should use big words if they merit it you shouldn't be searching the thesaurus just to word pad uh, but definitely if the situation meets, then definitely, you know, use the word that fits the situation. I agree that uh, to be a better writer, you need to be a, a reader, because how else will you learn uh, big words or uh, different types of writing methods? Um, yeah. Well, thanks everybody for tuning in, and we'll see you again next week. Take care.